This year, filmgoers got lost in space, they revisited the horrors of American slavery, and delighted in an outrageous story based on a real-life scam. Joining us now to handicap the best director and the all-important best picture race is Wall Street Journal film critic Joe Morgenstern. Joe, thanks for joining us, and a lot of people are going to be hanging on every word as they fill out their Oscar ballots this year. So let's start with best director. Who do you think is going to win the Oscar? Who do you think should win? Well, you know, this year has been a rich year for movies, just one interesting film after another. And yet here we are at the end of it all, or almost. And I think it's a clear call, at least from where I come from. It's a clear call. Alfonso Cuaron and Gravity. Cuaron did something new this year. Uh, I do a chart every year for the journal describing all the, the, the nominees, and I have to, I have to condense my, my thoughts into little 35-word descriptions. And this year, when it came around to Gravity and Quaron, the first word was new. How often you can say that about a film, I'll tell you, not often at all. Quaron was an innovator. He was an entrepreneur. He managed to get Warner Brothers and their production partner to get on board a rather expensive production without ever being able to show them a foot of the revolutionary footage that he turned out to be able to make. He was a salesman who really had the goods to sell. And the result for me, if we want to just stay with Quaron first as a director, is a man who single-handedly has brought innovations to an industry and an art form that has desperately needed them. Gravity points the way toward different and new ways of making film. In the technological realm, I mean, he pushed things forward so much, but would you say there are any dark horse contenders out there? You don't think there's any chance we'll be surprised Sunday night? Well, I hate to uh, fall into the perils of a pun with Dark Horses and Steve McQueen, but um, Steve McQueen did a marvelous job as the director of 12 Years a Slave. And there's absolutely nothing to be said against the film. It's a film that needed doing. It's a film that says things about American slavery that have never been said before in a film. And you can only wish it well. It's perfectly possible that uh, McQueen will win Best Director, though I don't think so. It's more possible that uh, 12 Years a Slave will win Best Picture. Though again, you know, I keep coming back to what my heart tells me, which is gravity is the one this year. So you're, you're bent on gravity, um, and it sounds like many others out there seem, think the same thing. That's going to be the hand-down favorite. But let's move over to Best Picture Race. And you said 12 Years a Slave. That, you think, has a, a good chance this year. It's carried a lot of buzz this award season. But hasn't it felt lately that the momentum is shifting in favor of gravity for Best Picture as well? What's your prediction on this one? Well, you know, I, I predicted that Gravity should win and will win, and I hope it does win. What do I know? The Motion Picture Academy is some 6,000 people. The average age is 63. Normally, their tastes are very conservative, although I must say this year there's something heartening and surprising on the list of uh, nine best films. It's Spike Jones's Her, which is beautiful and poetic and in, in its own right, new, novel, innovative. Spike Jones didn't get a Best Director nomination. I think he should have, but um, I was very happy to see the film on the Best Film list. Uh, the way that the voting works, could that hurt the chances for 12 Years a Slave? I mean, it's kind of a polarizing film in some respects. The way the voting works primarily is that the actors division is the biggest division and they, they carry the greatest voting weight. And there are some really wonderful performances in 12 Years a Slave, whereas Gravity, the performance is, Sandra Bullock is marvelous. I can't imagine that the movie could have been made as well without her. 
But uh, the great performer is the camera. Harvey Weinstein is saying that the race is so tight that there will be a split in favor of Philomena. Is that just wishful thinking? Any chance of that? You know, Harvey Weinstein is, Harvey should win his own Oscar for shamelessness. Harvey has spent a fortune, I mean millions of dollars, promoting this nice little film, Philomena. And again, there's nothing to say against it as a nice little film with a uh, a nice Judy Dench performance. I don't mean to be condescending. Judy Dench is a wonderful actress. She can't give a bad performance, and she's given a, a good one here. But it's a minor film. And Harvey has managed, by dint of perseverance and huge expenditures of money, to get this film a, a Best Picture nomination. The idea that it would actually win, I, I, I don't want to contemplate it. All right, the great Joe Morgenstern, thank you for offering your predictions to us. Thrilled to talk to you. Thank, thank you, Jason.